Hi, it's Justin with Seaboard Marine. In this video, we're catching up with Andre's lobster boat. <laughs> Yeah, we're doing the exhaust out the side here. Yeah, this engine's really um, far forward. I mean, it's a long boat, so it'd be a really long exhaust. So, and there's a fish hold right here. So we're going to be coming out the uh, side with the exhaust. And this is uh, good because this side is opposite the side where he pulls his traps and gear. Alright, here's Andre's exhaust, all tacked up. Everything's just tacked right now. Yep. There's the muffler, and it's, we're going out through the side, the hull. And so we gotta connect the dots from here all the way over to there. So we're gonna need to make a custom uh, Elbow. Whoa, what's this, Frank? Well, this is the exhaust for the uh, this boat right here. Okay. We went ahead and just uh, formed it to the side of the hole. To the side of the hole, uh, put some tape, glassed it in, and you can see getting different angles cool. on it. Cool. So that's not going to get glassed to the boat? Uh, no, it's going to be going to cut this nice shape. Screw it on. And then we're just going to screw it onto the boat with some glue, 5200. And we're going to make sure this is a little bit more of an angle. Not too square like that. Filled all, filled it yeah, in. So it can kind of, the water hits and makes a nice curve to it. What's the advantage of having that uh, be removable, that tailpiece? It's just in case uh, I hit something and, and bends it or breaks it or something, we can remove it and fix it. Or if you and ever change. Other, some other things that when you make it out of stainless, uh, a lot of guys, what they do, they hit the dock and they bend it and it looks ugly, it starts rusting, the screws come loose and it's just leaking, so it's better to do it this way. Cool. And we can make it And better. then if you ever change the engine or repower or whatever, you can, we can change it. At, change uh, it. If you see it doesn't like it, we can move it, put it up higher. Got it. Like cool. More versatile. So this is Andre's elbow, so we're not going to do two, we're going to do one long one. So we're going to put together custom little section of exhaust here. No, I can twist it like this. Yeah, 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 okay. See yeah. that? Yeah. I'm, I'm too long. You don't, you want to be closer to the beam? I want to be closer, but I'm too long. Uh, right now I'm hitting the exhaust, the, uh, the yeah. stainless. You want to be bring it up? Yeah. How does it look? Does it look that looks angled now. That looks angled? Yeah, you need to go down. Like it this? better before, yeah. Yeah, okay. down a little more. I like that. <laughs> That's really where it wants to be right okay, there. Okay, let me spin it back again. You might want to go to the right a little more. Towards me? Yeah. Because okay. you want it to kind of intersect on the bell, right? Right, yeah, like half and half. Like half of the muffler and half of the... Yeah, right now you're pretty much all on the flange. Okay. To, on the, on okay. the I'm gonna spin barb. It. I'm going to spin it. How's yeah, that? that's more like it. As you turn it, it starts oh, to... Oh, I see. You, I mean, you need to go more like this than like this. You mean I need to more like this? Exactly. Take more angle off. Yeah. Like okay. that, that looks way better. Okay, I'll do yeah. that, I'll do, I'll do, okay, it was a 45, so let me say I gotta go like a 35, 40. Okay, we got this uh, FRP tube uh, mocked up, little down tube and uh, elbow on the end for this. We're gonna try it and see how it fits down here. My next step is to uh, remove the muffler and glass the end of it and drill a 16 hole. So we're gonna, we're gonna actually modify the end of the modify muffler. Modify the muffler, I'm gonna cut this off and glass it and then drill a hole right about right here, a six inch hole, so it can come out just like to this end. Nice. All right, this is Andre's uh, custom elbow. Uh -huh. Sweet. There's some, some fiberglass mat and some fiberglass combo. Matte combo, matte mat. What I did in this one, I went matte combo combo mat. Matte combo combo mat. Yeah. Not Matt Combo, Matt Matt, because that would be way wrong and would never hold. 
We always, it's customized. It's never the same. Yeah, we all get it different every time. Every time. Every boat is different. Yeah. Some some boats need matte combo combo matte, and some boats need matte combo yeah. matte matte. Yeah, and some of them need matte cloth matte matte. Only seaboard. Only here at Seaboard do we know the difference, and that's why you need to hire us. Yeah. <laughs> and there's the muffler with the end cut off. So now he's going to glass this over, and then put in a custom inlet, which is really nice. It makes it nice makes a huge difference to the flow of the exhaust and reduces the number of fittings and elbows and stuff, right? Correct. Just cleans it up and makes it less, more hassle-free and less restricted. The less restriction, everything. It's just better all around. Yeah. A little more work, but it's better. Okay, here's the custom muffler for Andre's lobster boat. We do a double wall here where the hose clamps are going to be just to make it, reinforce it and make it stronger. You can see the angle we got. Still needs to get painted, but it's um, looking good. Paint it up and get it ready to go in the boat. And then here's this other elbow. So we'll have two of this elbow and then this one which is glass right to the mufflers. Okay, so we just cut this with a plasma torch. Just to clean it up and get it ready to weld. Okay, so here's the exhaust. Everything's welded except the bell. Here's the dry riser, all welded up, installed in position, and here's the wrap. progress on the lobster boat. Here's the hatch. Just getting started here. Aluminum diamond plate bent for the profile. Just cut out some pieces for the ends and weld it. I'm gonna cut this piece like this, kind of like that like that. This piece is going to be a little two inch, three, three inch, I don't know yet. Okay, we got the uh, got this notched out a little bit back. It's going to make a nice outside corner. Nothing sharp to bust your knee on, right? All right. Bust your shin on? Yeah. 